Uh, let's see. The King is a song that I wrote with um, Amanda Cook and um, Ricky Jackson and Rand Jackson. It's one of those, it's funny, we were up at uh, Ricky's house working on some songs all day. And I think we had gone through, we'd gone through at least one other idea, I think two, and had gotten, pushed them basically as far as we could go. And then right as we were um, about to kind of call it in general, um, Rand goes, oh, I've got this, you know, kind of chorus melody, I think. And, um, and sat down and he played what, like what would eventually become the chorus of The King. And so he sat down and he played it, it had some different lyrics and stuff like that. And we were all just kind of like, well, yeah, this is a no brainer. <laughs> And so I got on my phone and I called my wife and I was like, hey, so I'm going to stay for a few more, for a few more hours because we just kind of happened, we just got something. And I think initially the song was uh, by the power of Jesus in the, you know, in, in, in the power of his mighty name and all these things. And, um, and I just remember sitting there and just kind of trepidatiously pitching that I was like, I just think that it's like a all glory to Jesus song. Like I was like, I don't think that it's like a name it and claim it kind of thing. Like I just think it's like God is, God is victorious. He is the king. He is like, he is, he's the be all, the end all, the beginning and the end. He, he is, he's the boss. And so we just kind of started envisioning, you know, what would be the type of lyrics that we wished um, people in churches, it just would like, just light them up and that they would be compelled to like lift shouts of victory and, and lift shouts of praise, you know, just like line by line by line by line. And so that was kind of the measure by which we started writing all those lyrics. There came a time where we were, we were looking into making um, this record and we needed some more songs and I just was kind of like I was like hey like I have this other song I think it could be cool and um Chris York was like yeah that's I, yes this is a no-brainer and I'm I think I'm just really grateful to all the writers who were part of it who helped chase that song down because it definitely um it took some hours um getting it to where to where it kind of finally landed. And I think where it finally landed is just a really beautiful, um, just song of praise. Um, and I, I hope that I never become too cool to sing things like all glory to Jesus, you know, like that, that's one of those things that just because I've heard it a thousand times doesn't mean that I don't need to sing it with conviction. And, um, and so I, my hope and my prayer is that um, wherever it gets sung, um, that it would just be one of those reminders um, that Jesus is the King, that He is Lord, that He rules and He reigns, um, whether you like it or not. My hope is that when you sing that song in church, um, I, I'm hopeful that it kind of becomes a little bit of a party, you know, because I think that that's how it was written. It wasn't written to be a sing it through clenched teeth, you know, hoping that God comes through. It's more of a, um, man, what an, what an honor and a privilege it is that um, because we're Christians, because we're followers of Jesus, this is how we get to approach the strongholds in our life. This is how we get to combat the darkness in our lives. And then, I, I don't know about you, but for me that makes me think about like, golly, like there are people in this world who don't have Jesus and they face the same things that I do, but they don't have these things um, alongside them as well. And, and so my hope is that we just don't take those things for granted. And that when we sing um, songs like these, we sing them with conviction um, and we sing them with intentionality. And, but also that I hope we sing them with a smile on our face because um, there's a joy in knowing who Jesus is, what he's given you, um, and using it for his glory. And, and that's what I hope the song does. Thank you.